Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with our second topic today in the breakfast show. Uh, we're discussing today, uh, as we are in the holy month of Ramadan, we are going to talk about uh, the importance of uh, zakah uh, in uh, the uh, holy month of Ramadan, and uh, the zakat is uh, the third pillar of Islam. To shed more light on this, we had the pleasure to have this, this uh, uh, photo, Dr. Osama El Gohari, Azhar Scholar. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Well, uh, Dr. Gohari, uh, give us an idea about the zakah. Uh, what is uh, the zakah? Uh, we would like uh, uh, that you explain uh, to us uh, as it's one of the pillars of Islam. Okay. Uh, first, the Holy Quran has they explicitly stated that there is a portion of uh, the property of the rich that should be given to the poor and the needy. Allah the Exalted says, and those who uh, whose wealth is uh, uh, recognized right for the needy and the people who are um, in, in, in dire need for it. And the divine legislator has fixed that portion himself and hadn't let the matter for generosity of the rich or the open handedness of the benevolent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hadn't left the matter for, uh, for healing, for mercy that might exist in the heart of the rich for their desire for pity or benevolence and their love for uh, love So the cash would be paid um, once every year. It's due to the uh, it's due on every lunar year or the hedgeric calendar. Okay? From the day a wealth exceeds um, some kind of something called in, in Islamic Sharia called in the sub like uh, um, an amount of money. Okay. So you can also uh, count the zakah anniversary okay, from the last date um, one can one day zakah. So yes. Zakah is, in, is, is, as you just mentioned, is a terrible of Islam and is prescribed by Allah Himself, not the Prophet Himself. No, Allah is the one who puts the amount of money and the people uh, should be uh, recipients for the people who are going to receive it. Yes. Dr. Gohari, who is supposed to give the zakah? Who, um, uh, uh, what is the uh, categories that should provide the zakah? Um, um, I mean... Yes. Um, the people who are going to, who are entitled to receive the zakah of money, right? I mean, uh, does, for example, the woman uh, give zakah or it's only for the, uh, the father of the family? The, the man, I mean. The one who is in charge needs to be a man or woman. Okay, some families are, the provider is a man. Okay, some also, some other families, uh, the, 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 the wife is a woman. So it doesn't mean to be given to a man or woman. The idea is yes. to give it to the one who is in charge of the family. Yes, and so even And even, even, even you can be the care for some foundations, you know, like who are um, according to like, who are in need of this money, are they are eligible according yes. to some, some like criteria, so can be also given the cash. Yes. So what is the age uh, that starts giving a zakah? The cash is entitled to the one who can, uh, okay, it's not the age that, the, the, that controls the idea. The zakah is amount of money, either to be, um, even if you can a boy, if a boy can has this wealth, he can he is entitled to be the cat. The one who is in charge of managing his money is going to be the cat. So the cat is not for uh, judged by the, the the age of a person. It's judged by how amount of money one owes. Yes, uh, 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 Dr. Gohari, you've just mentioned that that uh, uh, the rich people is supposed to give the, the cat. Is it yes. only the rich people or any? Uh, one who can afford. Okay, so the cash, as I just mentioned, is, is something called nusab, nusab, like an amount of money. Yes. This kind of money what is. What is the percentage? Equal, what? Yes. Yeah. What is the percentage? Yes. So the when, when uh, a person's wealth exceeds uh, what is uh, calculated as the cash value equivalent three ounces of gold, that can be like eighty. Seven gram of gold. So if one wealth exceeds that, if 
uh, uh, after uh, counting all his uh, owns and his um, personal um, expenses, and at the end of the day, at the end of, end of the year, he his money if that amount, the amount he's going to is entitled to pay the cash, which is two point five annually. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, 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 Dr. Gohari also, uh, Dr. Uh, can I ask you please uh, uh, to listen to me only through the, the TV? Please uh, switch off uh, the volume of the... No, I mean uh, if you could listen to me through the phone, only through the phone. Switch off the volume of the TV, okay? Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Gohari, um, we always train our uh, children um, uh, to w w whatever they uh, gain, uh, whenever they gain money through the whole year, they have to uh, take a p part of it. For example, they, uh, they gained or received 100 pounds. So they can give five pounds or 10 pounds uh, to, to any poor or needy people. Uh, yeah. I, yes. Yeah. Through the whole there's, year. Yes. Yeah, there's something really um, point out here. It's the role of the parents is to uh, 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 entrench or to plan the spirit of spending, uh, the, not spending like the spirit of giving uh, charity to the poor. I remember this uh, woman uh, who would give the money. Uh, the charity, not as a, as a can. Inshallah, we're going to come to the difference between the can and charity. Uh, this woman would uh, give her son um, a plate of food and uh, told her son to go and give it to that poor lady. Okay, she can do it herself, but she wants to um, blend the spirit of giving to, his, his, to her own son. And uh, it's also really important when someone is giving charity, he is going to show that to his own son or his daughter, okay, to uh, tell them that it's really important to give. As you, as you mentioned, um, uh, if a, a boy is having a, some kind of money, okay, it's not like um, uh, a big sum of money, but his father or mother can teach him um, that he can like take a couple of pounds and give it to the poor. This is going to, uh, to plant in his spirit, the, 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 his heart, the spirit of charity, the spirit of giving. And when he grow up, it's not going to be uh, something weird or something. It's going to be something really um, normal is to give. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, also, how to see the zakah, uh, Dr. Gohari, how to see the zakah uh, as a kind of um, a very good system of um, social solidarity? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, zakah, um, uh, every, every Muslim should, uh, should be zakah. So, every Muslim that is entitled and has that money, to uh, to pay the care, he has to pay it. It's really important. Not, not just important. It's an obligatory act of, of worship. Okay. So um, uh, solidarity and um, cooperation. Uh, this is a spirit. The spirit of uh, cooperation and solidarity comes, or uh, it really will uh, um, exposed and be shown in the in the in the zakat or sadaqah. Okay. Yes, sir. So the Islamic Sharia enjoins its followers to maintain cooperation and solidarity of the unity of the and the unity of the feelings and 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 the among the Muslims. In addition to the solidarity and need of material materialistic matters, uh, uh, the Muslims. Uh, 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 you know, the Prophet وسلم, said in, in a hadith. A believer to another believer is just like building whose different parts enforce each other. It means that we all one in this country, in this unity, in this society. Yes. Uh, for your information, uh, uh, the society is not just among, uh, among Muslims. Social society in Islam uh, doesn't only concern Muslims. It belongs to the, uh, with the, the deal between Muslims and uh, uh, other uh, the non-Muslims okay, in, the, in the same society. 
so um, the it also concerns all the human uh, human beings, humankind, with all their religions, beliefs, uh, within the Islamic society. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in Surah Al-Muntahana, Allah forbid you not with regard to those who fight you, not for uh, faith or drive you out of your homes from dealing kindly and justly with them. And one of the comprehensive verse uh, that uh, covers or gives the meaning of solidarity uh, and integration, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, help you one another in the righteousness and beauty. Okay, but uh, 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 so, uh, uh, solidarity is not just like giving money, it's giving money, um, uh, be a success in, um, uh, in stealing, in the righteousness, in gathering on doing what is good for the society in general. Yes, uh, so uh, um, doctor, when um, is uh, the zakah um, uh, given? Uh, is it only in uh, at the end of Ramadan or when, when um, how many times uh, through the year? Okay, so there is um, a misconception about that, which is they uh, said that Ramadan, the Muslim can also only pay the zakah in Ramadan. This is not the um, uh, right. The zakah should be paid once, uh, once a person uh, reach um, a certain amount of money. Okay? So many people think Maybe you are stuck with the misconception that the cat can only be paid during the second month of Ramadan, which is not right. The cat is annual duty, so you can pay it any time in the year after you will hit uh, the, the nisab we have just uh, talked about. So, um, but, but Ramadan is, is a really um, a, a good hand to multiply your hasanat, your good deeds. So, uh, if one, if, if like for me, I'm talking about myself now. I'm I'm adjusting myself to base the cat every single year of, uh, in Ramadan. Okay, I'm going to benefit twice from that. First, yes. I'm going to base the cat as an obligation as a worship, and then I'm going to get extra hasanat as uh, as the Prophet told us that uh, one kind of action, a good action is multiplied by 70 times in Ramadan. Yes. So uh, the cash must be paid annually, regardless whether it be in Ramadan or not in Ramadan, according to the Hijri calendar. So yes. it would be great to, to state, to, uh, to uh, specify and uh, have a specific month every year to be yes. in the cash. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you uh, for your valuable information, Dr. Osama Al Gohari, uh, Al Azhar scholar. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone, ladies and gentlemen. I leave you now uh, with the uh, tourism magazine with Dina uh, Yunus, uh, and I thank you uh, for uh, being with me. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.